Now, I love my Windows Phone, but one of the main problems I have with it is the text that shows for information like this or your calendar where you can't really read it during the bright day. It looks fine in a, in a room like this, but during the day you can't uh, read it. Well, Windows Phone 8.1 has fixed all that. Now the keys for taking a screenshot in Windows Phone 8.1 have changed. I find them a little more difficult. You have to press the volume up and the power key and that would take a picture of your screenshot of your current screen. doesn't matter what it is, we're just trying to get the size of a graphic that we can transfer to the PC to make some different color backgrounds. So here we are on the desktop and we're going to go ahead and uh, grab that photo. Now what I did is I copied it over to my desktop and here's a screenshot that I took uh, earlier which gives me the right size of graphic I need to modify. Uh, it was during the download of a program. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Instead of, uh, I'm going to right click on this. Uh, it's a PNG file by the way. There's a dimension 760 by 1280. That's the screenshot size. And I'm going to open with, uh, instead of using one of the sophisticated ones, I'm going to have one that everybody has, this paint that's built in. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that to get started on this. So once it comes up here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, uh, entire size here by just simply clicking on the select uh, select all so everything's highlighted. Now that it's all there all highlighted, I'm going to hit erase and go ahead and erase everything out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a color. First color I'm going to do is a dark red. I'm going to click the fill tool, fill it. I'm going to come over here and say file, uh, save as. And I'm going to come over, over here and put this somewhere on the PC. I'm going to go ahead and put it in uh, here. So here I am in public. I'm going to put it in public pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and call this oh, phone dark, uh, dark red uh, background. Now I'm going to skip through making a bunch of these. You just change a different color and do all that. You can make custom colors uh, using the paint controls here. So uh, we'll go ahead and skip over to where I have a whole bunch of these created. Well, once I, what I really want to do here is also show you you can create your own colors just by simply using the editing tools here. I'm going to do a darker one, the more steel looking one I want for my phone. And simply go over there and say, okay, use the fill tool, do it again, and we're going to save that again. So here I have, I have, I'm doing the last one. I've got about five or six of these done. So now that we're done that, I'm done with paint. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here that I'm done with. I'll just go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to plug in the phone and uh, transfer everything over to the phone. So what I did is I pl plugged in the phone and I've transferred over here. I'm in the directory for the phone. And I'm going to go ahead and here's some of the pictures I have, things like that. I'm going to go back to pictures under screenshots and uh, you'll see there's some screenshots here, one of which is the one I just was talking about earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and go out to this PC again and I'm going to go find the pictures that I just did. So here I am in the public pictures directory and you'll see here's all the different ones that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all uh, seven of these. I'm going to just drag them. Uh, we're going to highlight them first, of course. And these are the options I create. You can create as many as you want. And you can make gradient ones. You can do whatever you want. But just drag them over here and let them go. And it will copy them over to the phone via the USB. And there they, there they are in the phone. So now we're here at the phone and uh, we're going to go back and we're going to go back to the settings. Now in Windows 8.1, it's a little different than 8.0, but we're going to go scroll down from the top here and go to the settings menu. So let me uh, scroll down here and go to all settings. And there it is, start and theme. So it's Verizon red right now. That's what it becomes default when you're in Verizon. Uh, so we're going to change that color first. And uh, we're going to click on that. And we're going to use a brighter red there, so that way I can see. Now that changes your tile, and you, you don't like, you may not want your tiles to change colors. You want to have your tiles different than what your font color is, and that's what's good about 8.1. So we're going to go back in here, and you'll see that here we're going to change this to maybe yellow, and we'll see that a yellow. And now we, the tiles have changed. That's bad. So uh, how do we fix that in 8.1? Well, it's actually quite simple. We're going to go back over here, back to the start and theme. And we're going to go ahead and change the the color to whatever I want. So I'll change it back to a, the bright red for right now. And then uh, I can go in here and I can go to these new features down here and there, choose photo. 
So I'm going to go here and say choose photo. Now they give you some. Now, for example, if I click here and I choose one of the photos that's built in and it crops it exactly to what size it wants to be. You can position it on the photo a little bit if you like and then hit OK. And now you'll see that depending upon your transparency of the tiles, those standard red tiles, uh, it looks OK or it doesn't look OK. It depends upon your desktop. If you don't like that, uh, there's another option, which uh, is what I'm going to cover right here today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a solid background. In order to do that, I, uh, I'm going to go back to the menu again, and I'm going to go back to the theme, and I'm going to say choose photo. And remember those ones I copied? So I'm right here. There they all are. So I'm going to choose that, that teal one that I like. It's a little brighter on this screen, on this recording, but it's really darker on the phone itself. But there it is. I go back now to the uh, main uh, screen. And sure enough, there's my nice uh, teal background. Uh, I'm just going to scroll up and Now also, because I did it this way, if I go and do a search Watermark for something, and uh, Ventura, I'm going California. to go ahead and ask Cortana uh, for this one, rest, uh, this one restaurant, and Watermark she's going to go find it. And there it is. And if I go there, you'll see that I don't have a teal. I have red as bright red as my background. So maybe it's easier to read. And you can mess with this as much as you like to get this to be the colors you want. To do that, you just simply go back over here. Go back to the, the start and theme again. Click on that again. You change the color. Make it yellow. Uh, which is probably going to be hard to read too. Uh, but it doesn't mess with your screen. But if you go back over here and we go back to that listing. And boop, it refreshes, and sure enough, boom, it changes to yellow. So now you have yellow. So keep playing with this until you find a font that you can see easily. That Some people are colorblind. Some people have difficulty with other colors. So find the one that works for you. Now, that takes care of your fonts, but let's go back for a second because I, I sort of skipped over something. Let's talk about uh, one more feature of setting up your uh, screen. Is that Besides having all that, we're going to go over here to the Start theme again and click up here. And you'll notice that below that, there's even more options down below where we can choose a photo down here. There's a Facebook, okay, or from your OneDrive, okay? Or you can press the camera button. Let's say you're out somewhere, you like a, you see some, you know, historical thing that you want to have as your background on your phone. Simply press the camera button, take a picture, and it becomes, you go through the same steps, and it becomes your background for your phone. So you can play around with these settings of different photos and different colors uh, and change it until you get the one. As a matter of fact, you actually have them match if there happen to be compatible uh, colors. If uh, you think you want to have a blue background with blue text, uh, that's fine as well. As a matter of fact, if we go ahead and the accent color here, uh, we can go ahead and press that and choose a color that's uh, close to what you want. There's the uh, color, and you see the preview up top where it says accent color right there. Uh, and uh, do that. Or you can have uh, lime green, okay, or regular green. So just keep playing with it until you find the color that works for you, uh, works for your phone and what you can read. Uh, orange, another, another option as well. And, uh, oh, by the way, there's one more feature in the new uh, lock screen. If we go back here and we scroll down further, you'll notice that there they are. You can add extra columns, show more tiles. Right now there's three across if you press the bar up here it'll actually change this to four across now it looks yellow down here but that's only because that's the highlight color but because we're overriding it with a graphic it's really blue but if we turn it on you'll see that there's four down there if we go to the screen and sure enough i now have this other column over here where i can put stuff in for example if i press and hold and slide that over there's another column over there that you can mess with and add more which gets you less vertical scrolling which makes it easier for you to see more apps on the screen. And I'm going to probably play with this and see if I like this smaller uh, font or follow smaller uh, tile sizes. But you can, uh, that's one more feature with the new uh, start screen options. And I'm going to go ahead and change it back for right now and I'm going to mess with that later. So there you have it, the new options for the start screen for Windows Phone 8.1 should be released any day now. Uh, if you're reading this, listening to this video a month from now, it's already out probably to your phone. I'll go ahead and play with it. You get nice color customization for your tiles and your fonts and uh, maybe even a photo or two. So it's up to you. So enjoy your new uh, start screen customizations from Windows Phone 8.1. 
Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.